For the first time on Hoosier soil, the Breeders' Crown races will take over the track at Hoosier Park in Anderson. There are hundreds of horses and drivers ready for a chance at the Crowns. 24 Hour News 8's Brenda Donnelly got a behind the stables look hmm. today. And Brenda, uh, this kind of racing uh, may be new to some Hoosiers. Yeah, it's not your typical jockey on horseback. These are harness races, a throwback to the old chariot races, but with Olympic like athletes. These horses are standard breds, not thoroughbreds. They're very strong and sturdy and can run a mile in less than two minutes. They pull a driver behind them in a race bike or sulky, as they're called. For the driver, the entire race happens with them just four feet off the ground, going 30-some miles per hour. They say they have to rely on the strength and gait of the horse and their own game plan. Harness racing is very strategic. Um, decisions that the driver makes behind the gate um, during the race is so important. They're not like a car where you can just step on the gas and step on the brake. They're not like that at all. And horses all have personalities. They're just like other athletes in that some have great attitudes for racing, others you have to trick into going. They're just like people, horses are. They're compassionate animals and they, they want to do well and they want to win. You know, they, horses Trace they Tetrick, who you they, see here, is a driver from Anderson and is very familiar with the finish line at Hoosier Park. He says he wants everyone, especially families, to come out and watch this Friday and Saturday. Hoosiers will be treated to 12 crown races. Each is different according to the gait, gender, and age of the horses. If you do want to check it out, we have a link to the race info on our website, wishtv.com. And by the way, admission to the track is free. Brennan Donnelly, 24 Hour News 8.